Here we have a Dynatron CTV-19 which is fitted with the Pi 697 chassis. I picked this television up a few months ago. I already have a Pi 697 in the Pi cabinet. It's a very flimsy, poorly made concern. They weren't the best television in the 70s by any standard. And Dynatron, they were put in these tarted up cabinets and branded Dynatron and sold for twice the price. It's a solid cabinet of rosewood. And it has a wired remote control as well. It's a 26 inch colour. Oh yes. By appointment to ourselves. So people thought, went into Harrods or whatever to buy one of these, they thought they were getting a top notch television. They weren't really. However, it should be interesting to get going. This is the power supply and line output panel. And we have the frame panel, and the luminance video drives, and behind is the decoder, and that's the uh, RF and IF panel there. And the tube, it's an A66120X Del Digon tube. So I'm going to give it its first power on and see how we get on, and that's the convergence up here. So we'll have a go and see what happens. Right, so we're not going to mess around. I'm going to show it the mains and see what it does. I have it plugged in now. Ooh. The sound comes up straight away. That's a, a transistorized. It has a sound output chip. I think it's a TBA820 or something like that. So I have to wait now for the line time base to wake up. Here the line starting now. And here the EHT rustling up now. Let's see if we've got anything on the front. Whoa. Something early. <laughs> My controls don't seem to be doing anything. Okay, I think our first uh, part of call will be that frame time-based panel, see if we can open up the raster a bit. Thanks for now, we'll do a part two soon.